So I'm gonna explain to you NinjaTrader's pricing options. Now I know that sounds boring, but trust me, this will be eye-opening because their pricing page shows you some of the options, but it does not show you everything. Now I know that's a big claim, so let me try and live up to that and I will explain everything to you right after this. Think about what's making you afraid. There's nobody in the world who's ever wanted to fail, but a little bit of help can get you on your way. X, A, B, C, D is where you can start today. For this to make sense, we need a bit of a map. Now, way back when we had NinjaTrader, the software company, they had created charting software. Then NinjaTrader bought a brokerage and we had a separate company called NinjaTrader Brokerage. Now with all this rebranding, they had basically smushed everything together as one. And now I honestly think they tried to make this pricing page simple as a benefit to the users. And to some extent it is, but it leans you very heavily into trading with their brokerage. What if you didn't want to? Now, I have nothing against the NinjaTrader brokerage. I do have everything for you knowing what your choices are. So for a lot of people, it might be the best thing to use their brokerage. For others, perhaps not. It might even depend on what you want to trade, if you can work with their brokerage or not. However, their pricing model that you look at will lean you towards their brokerage, whether that is for the good or the bad. Now, what I wanna do in this video to hopefully earn your big thumbs up is answer your pricing questions no matter which way you decide to go. Do you wanna go with the niche trader brokerage or do you wanna go a different way? At least you're informed on what that cost is to you ahead of time before you go through the process. So again, we're gonna start off by talking about the pricing that's on their screen and then we're gonna talk about what is different if you decide not to use the brokerage and what that will cost you. So one of the big differences with 8.1 that we've talked about before is that you have this free option. I honestly think that this will get NinjaTrader a lot more market share. Uh, sure, you will pay a higher round turn, but for someone who's starting out trading and they don't know if they want to dump $1,500 into a platform, they obviously see this as a win. So I think this is a great way for them to test the waters. Now, this used to be a very basic version of NinjaTrader that was included if you opened up a brokerage account, but it didn't let you use what they call Trader Plus, which is all their features that you'd want to use. Um, so think about like OCOs and ATMs and all these other things that you would think is normal. You would only be able to enter in a basic, basically a buyer now button, um, very basic order type stuff, nothing like trading on the charts or anything like that. You couldn't use uh, tabs at the bottom, I believe even like just like, it got so frustrating for people that they wouldn't want to have the free license anymore. Put me back onto a demo and I'll put those trades directly with my broker or they would end up buying and upgrading, but it was a very frustrating experience. So I'm glad that they've kind of fixed that with their free version, basically given people the full experience in NinjaTrader and just charge a slightly higher contract round rate um, for people to get involved. So I think that's a win. So the middle one's a bit of a tough one for me because if you're gonna be trading so frequently that you want a lower commission and you're willing to pay hundred bucks a month for it, why wouldn't you just buy the $1,500 uh, package for a lifetime license? Now, that might be the reason why they have this package is to get people to mentally think, well, I should buy this one. And that's probably my understanding of why it even exists. Uh, I can't think of a reason why somebody that trades that frequently doesn't plan on trading for the next 15 months. So I would assume that this is a middle package that not many people are going to pick, that they're going to pick the next one up and actually just buy a lifetime license. And now, of course, we have the lifetime license option, which is you pay once and you have the platform and you can keep on using it with the NinjaTrader brokerage and as long as you want and there's no additional added fees. I think this is great. Uh, now, there's some stuff that they've left out. The first thing they left out is they have not put in here that you have to pay for volume indicators. Now, I don't use volume indicators. In fact, a lot of the people that we talk to step away from them because of consistency issues. But regardless, if you wanted to trade with volume, that sort of thing, you would have to pay a monthly fee of $59 on the free plan or the middle plan in order to get that access. If you buy the lifetime license, that, that is now included. So if you are somebody that trades volume, you're paying the $99 a month plus the $59 a month in order to use those tools that you might need. 
Now, if you were trading with a free version, obviously you're not paying the 99, you're just paying the 59. And then if you're trading with a lifetime license, you're not paying anything additional once you pay that one-time fee. Now, that's not the only thing. This is, again, if you're trading with NinjaTrader brokerage. What if you wanted to trade with interactive brokers? Um, what if you wanted to trade with TD Ameritrade? You would need what they call a multi broker license now i found this very interesting because this used to be a one-time fee and now it's broken down to for everybody on every level you have to pay 99 dollars a month to use a different brokerage now what that does from their business perspective as i would see it is it is going to really twist your arm to go with the ninja trader brokerage and open up an account with them if you trade futures but if you don't trade futures if you trade uh, stocks through tda or if you want to trade uh, forex through interactive brokers or forex.com you would have to pay that 99 dollars a month and that is something that ninja trader is probably going to benefit hugely from because if people decide to take that option then they have to get an ongoing subscription in order to use those brokers. That gives NinjaTrader more money than just the one lifetime license. We're done with that customer. Now, if you want to use another broker, they will be able to do that for that subscription fee. Otherwise, you will be trading with them. And again, they're still making money off that lifetime license because now you are trading through their brokerage and they make the commissions. You see what I mean? So either way, they're taking their lifetime license customers and they're still going to be making something off them down the road where in the past, if you had purchased a license before, all this was rolled into your one-time fee as a multi-broker license and you never had to pay a dime more. Now, if you're sitting there going, wait, 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 I am one of those older users not to worry, you get grandfathered in, but for anyone else from, I think, don't quote me on this, March 4th, 5th, when that weekend that they changed everything and released 8.1, if you hadn't seen that video, watch that. Um, you know, that's going to be something totally different of now you have to basically pay for it. But if I own Ninja Trader, the company, this would make logical sense because you would want to keep making money off your existing users. But wait, if you actually expected people to buy into a multi-license key for $100 a month, shouldn't you have the biggest list of brokers available that people can choose from so that people would actually want to pay the $100 a month because their broker is one that's supported or their broker that they like is supported? But instead, when 8.1 was released, we actually saw the amount of supported brokers shrink. So is the plan to grow that list? This is what we're going to have to wait and see. So if you do like staying up to date with all this sort of news as well as the releases, again, if you hadn't checked out our release of 8.1.1.1, that video we did, be sure to watch that for a lot of the changes and features as well as uh, check out our site, xabctrading.com. If you want to get our free ATM pack, we have a news indicator, we have a price line indicator. We have tons of resources that you can get for free. Uh, if you are interested in our XABC pattern software, you have any questions, we also have a live chat. You can get us at xabctrading.com and we will see you guys in the next video.